so hello guys welcome to java jsm and in this video we can discuss how to customize a spring boot banner okay so whatever the banners you are able to see in the console which is a spring we can customize it by the programmatically or through the configuration also with the yml file okay so let's go to the sts and create one project which is a spring boot project so go to the new and uh, a spring a starter project so i'm going to create one project and just give the name called uh, a spring boot banner test banner test and just create your project uh, with uh, no dependency not required anything else okay just we have created the starter project so when a starter project is created and uh, if you run this project let me run so you can see in the console page we are printing one banner this is the banner okay which is a spring what we have to do is we have to say this banner will not print or maybe you want to customize this banner to print something else here maybe your name your company name or maybe some the brand you are promoting so those you can write here right so how you can do it so let's go to the properties file so let's open the properties file this is the project name i'm going to give the of this mode of the banners so i will write spring dot uh, main dot banner <clears throat> or banner mode is off if you see here we have uh, some uh, different different modes like off log or console so if you do the off it will not print the banners on the console if you go to the log so it will write on the log files okay so in your logs like what are the logs you have generated for your project so we are storing those log in one of the files so in that file it will print it but if you make it as a console then in the our console itself here it will print it so now we are going to do the off so just off it save this properties file and try to run one more times your project so that you can see the behavior okay now still i am running the project but it's printing okay so what we can do just close the project open the project and try to run it okay in my system having some issue it's not working properly okay so if you see here there is no banner is printing now why because we have made the banner as a off so now you are not able to see the project banners again if i go to the properties file okay and if i do the mode is console <clears throat> so it will again start printing on the console also okay let me run so one more times so it's a started printing in the consoles right if i make it off let me do one more times and if i again run this project so if you see banner is not printing so like that you can do with your banner and you can customize it the second thing is if you are not interested to do with the properties file then we have a programmatical approach also so you can go to the main class or a starter class inside the starter class what we have is uh, you can just comment this line and uh, then after you can create a new object for the spring put builder okay so a spring boot uh, application builder so up uh, application builder and uh, here you can pass your class name which is applications dot class names so this is your class name 
right dot class correct and then after you can write uh, build dot run also you can pass or here itself you can do the like uh, what are the customizables you have so dot uh, let me break it in the two parts okay dot banner mode if you see here there's lots of the things you can do and you can customize your application so right now we are focusing on the banners only so let's go with the banner so this is the banner mode so here you can do the banner mode is mode type is off or on mode dot off so here also you can see console log off okay so we are going to do the off okay let's do the off and then after just build it and then after pass the run and the run is just arguments okay that's it and if you run your project once again banner will not print correct so banner is not printing again you can do the configurations like console we are not talking about the log files because we are not generating any log as of now and if you run once again see your project you can see now it's printing the banner now the thing is like we don't want to print this as spring we have to print our company name so what you have to do is go to the browsers and search here <coughs> text to ascii art once you search text to ascii art on the console it will give you some website which is capable to convert your text to the some arts like that text to ascii art okay like that if you want to convert it you can do it okay otherwise you can do the copy paste also and you can use it we have some other website also if you go this website <coughs> here whatever you want maybe i want to java is json java is json so this one i want to print my console while running my application so what i have to do just copy this ascii value and go to your application inside the application go to the src main resource folder and in the resource folder just create one file which is banner.txt banner.txt that's it once you create this file inside this file just paste whatever you have copy which is java is json okay and that's it just try to run your applications it will automatically face those details okay because we have put it uh, our file inside the src main resources okay and now if you see the our console is printing java is json and this is not printing the spring now okay so you can print your name also it's your choice but if you are putting uh, something like uh, if you are putting something like uh, different things now just remove it not required these things right and just go with the default one so this is the default one okay there is nothing in the application dot properties file there is no configurations and just we have put it banner dot txt and banner having our ascii value right how you modify it will work if you given some other places you have to specify the path but if you put it your banner.txt inside the resources then automatically it will fetch it okay so no need to specify it. now if you run your application so by default it will print those banner only okay it will not print the existing banners how we are overriding it if you go to the spring boot applications itself 
and you can see here one run method okay. inside the run methods we have a lots of the methods okay inside the methods we have a spring boot application primary applications okay let me go back and this is the run methods inside this run methods we have a, some configuration for banner so if you see here they are creating the banner with the print banners and if you open this they are providing the mode like mode is log or mode is uh, console or mode is uh, default okay so console default or log which is print ln on the console log or off so this is only two three modes we have how they are printing or locating the banners so they are uh, reading from the resource loaders so if you see here they are going to the resource loaders and uh, they are loading it if it is not then they are putting the default one one okay and this is the spring boot application banner printer which capable to print okay so let me open this so once you open this you can see here all those things okay if you want to see banners which is uh, predefined banners so you can go with the class called uh, control shift t you can press and a spring application a spring boot banner so if you see here a spring boot banner class if you go and say so this ascii value only they are printing while running your code by default but if you give your own banner it will override with the your banners and what are the banners you have provided here those are going to be printed okay so i hope you understood you can modify your own if you copy and paste some different things like if you go here and if you give your name also hey prince kumar and you can just copy those all ascii value and come inside your code and replace this value okay this is the prince kumar and now if you run your application you can see the banner will be changed for your applications okay now it's printing the prince kumar so like that it's based on the company demand or maybe sometimes uh, they are asking to do like that so you can do that time but generally they are not saying to do it so it's for your understanding like how we can customize the banners how we are doing exactly with the help of the configurations also with the java code how we can put inside the properties file also and how we can provide the banner.txt automatically how it's reading all those things i have explained in this video so that you can understood in the better way okay thank you so much